It's a new week. It's time for a new hangout. First of all, shall we warm up? Here we are in Jerusalem. We've got the people that believed in Jesus and had started to follow him here. We've got a lot of the crowd over here. And we've got a temple here, the Jerusalem temple, where at three o'clock in the afternoon, a lot of the believers of Jesus went to pray. All different ages and two of them were Peter and John and as they were going into the temple by the beautiful gate they saw a man who was well he was just lying on the floor he, he couldn't walk he was he was carried there by his friends every day and he begged for help and as Peter and John walked past, he begged them for help. And they said, we, we don't have any, any money we could give you, but what we do have, we will give you. And that is the love and the hope and the healing in the name of Jesus. And immediately, the man stood up and began jumping and dancing and praising God. He went into the temple and all the people in the temple recognized him as the man who usually sat at the beautiful gate. What had happened? Peter and John went into the temple. Some of the priests and the teachers of the law recognized Peter and John and the man and they said, what's happened here? So Peter started explaining. Peter started saying, all the good things about what Jesus had done, the way Jesus had come back to life and gave them power to do amazing things. The priests and the teachers were annoyed at what Peter and John were saying because, well, they didn't believe that people could come back to life and, and they were saying that Jesus had and that other people could. But they couldn't do anything to Peter and John because by now everyone had heard about how the lame man was now jumping and dancing. So they decided to put them in jail for the night. Jewish leaders met together and thought, what should we do? What should we do with Peter and John? We can't harm them because, well, everyone knows what they've done for this man who, who couldn't walk. But in the morning, they called them back in and said, by what power did you 
heal that man. Peter and John said, it's no power of ours. It's just by Jesus. We have no power, but the power of Jesus. And they said lots of other things. The teachers of the law and the priests and some of the Sadducees, they were never really very happy because they were sad, you see. But some of the Sadducees and the teachers of the law and the priests, they thought, wow, aren't Peter and John brave and bold? And aren't they, well, they speak so well for just ordinary men. Right, what we're gonna do is tell you to stay absolutely silent and not tell anyone else about Jesus. Peter and John just laughed and said, no, we have to tell people about Jesus. They couldn't harm them. So they warned them even stronger and said, whatever you do, don't tell anyone. And the man went off and told lots of people in the town. And lots of people in the town heard his story and were amazed and began to believe in Jesus. Now there was 5,000 of them who were following Jesus. Peter and John went back through the city telling people about Jesus. I wonder what the best part of that story was. I wonder if everyone in the temple was annoyed Peter and John. I wonder what the man who had been disabled, what he said to his family and friends when they saw him. I wonder what you could say to your friends about Jesus. I love that story about Peter and John and how they were free to tell everyone about Jesus. How the man became free from his illness and he could jump and praise God. Can you find some great music? Perhaps some Christian music, some, um, some men collective music, some great big God music and sing and praise to God as you jump about. Or you might want to make a, a poster that tells people how much God loves them, how Jesus is alive and how he came to give us life and he has power to heal. We'll see you on Tuesday at five o'clock. If you've got a poster, do bring it along. Or we'll see you, and we'll see you, on Friday at five o'clock, when we'll be joined by some of the other leaders, and we'll have different games and challenges. Or you might want to show us your poster, or share your favorite song to dance to. We'll see you very soon.